Hi, I've had a request from someone on our channel saying that can you back up your computer from a bat file or batch file and the answer to that question is yes. It's pretty much uh, old hat nowadays bat files, they've been around a long time and they used to be used quite a lot years ago. Some people still use them, I mean but there's loads of programs out there that do the same job with a lot more uh, a greater ease really. So these are the two files that I'm going to be showing you basically. Uh, one's called userprofile.bat the other one's called PCArchiver.bat. Okay, so if you wanted to back up a person's uh, profile, say for argument's sake, I wanted to back up the profile for this machine, then I can actually set this bat file up. Okay, to actually do that, what it's going to do is it's going to send the user profile to this destination called PC Archiver, which is on my external hard drive. Okay, it's called an empty folder there called PC Archiver, and the drive is E, and it's going to be sent there. Okay. And what it's going to do is back up the actual profile. Now this will probably be quicker to back it up this way than it will be by copying and pasting it straight across. So let's have a little go and see how it works out. So let's just click on this. Now you can have this auto run as well uh, to start up and then back it up straight across to that location if you wanted to. Um, but I don't see the point in that. So let's just have a little click here and move that across. As you can see it's now backing up that user profile for that account and that's what a bat file does basically if you've got the coding right but you've got to be careful as I said we're using the bat files because some of them are very malicious and if you've got the wrong code in there some of them could actually format now you can see it's backing up the temporary internet files in there as well now you could have a clean up um, a clean up um, script in there that actually cleans up all these files after it's backed them up okay so once it's backed them up you could obviously carry on and clean that up if you wanted to add that in there which wouldn't be a bad idea because obviously you're backing up the whole user profile which is everything on that user profile so let's just let that finish and once that's finished okay it's finished now as you can see it's completed and uh, what that's done is as you can see it's done the whole the whole lot in one fell swoop so uh, let's have a little look at the actual e drive there and there's the actual folder, 631 megabytes, that's just pulled across in that quick there you go, that's the actual user profile for that account so anyway, let's delete that now um, let me just quickly delete this ok, so let me just delete that, I don't want that on there so I want to show you the other, work, the other thing that you can use for bat files as well there's a ton of different things you can use for them so I've deleted that stuff out of the folder now. The other one I've got is called PC Archiver. And what it will do is actually back up in the same location. And what it's going to back up is your documents, or my documents, I should say. My documents. Uh, my favourites there, which is my browser favourites. Also, email, address book, and out of Outlook Express. You can see their address book. It's going to back that up. You can add, actually add stuff to it. Identities. So it's backing up all Outlook Express emails as well which is also good as well I mean this is great for backing up people's stuff before you wipe the PC as well you can actually add stuff to this if you wanted to um, I haven't got Outlook Express installed on here but it's just going to run and it will say file not found because it's not installed properly um, but if obviously a working account it would back up all those emails also uh, as you can say contacts for Microsoft Outlook it will also uh, back up the registry which is uh, always a good thing to do so let's run this and see what happens and see how it goes as I said it's going to go to the PC archiver which is over here and it's empty now so let's just have a little go at this one and click on that there you go and it's just starting to copy the actual my documents across and everything else so you can see it's not it won't find uh, the Outlook Express because it's not been installed or Outlook because I haven't got Office on here at the moment and that's it, it's back up done already so let's have a little look and there you have it we've got a address book if there was a, a my documents as you can see it's copied all of my documents over and also the registry it's made a registry backup and we've also got Outlook Express identities but there's nothing there but if there was there'd be an inbox there with much more um, uh, larger files on there because obviously it'd be all your emails in there which is really useful if you want to back that up okay 
and uh, it saves you a lot of time rather than going to each location just push that uh, bat file and it will do the whole lot in one fell swoop and also you've got the uh, favorites here you could actually add desktop to this as well if you wanted to um, and a few other bits and pieces the common things to back up what people want all the time okay so I hope that's been some use to you um, it's a bit old school really the old bat files but they're still usable people still use them so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope this answers your question. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. Thanks very much for watching and thanks for your support. If you have questions like this guy did, then obviously send me an email or message or get on the uh, forum there and uh, send a message up there. Not many people using it at the moment. Let's hope we can get that a bit more busier. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.